Create a plant report. Remember the hardscape worksheet that you created earlier, the one that conveniently listed the areas of different materials we used? You can do the same with your planting plan. Many objects in Vectorworks have a record attached to them and the plant is a perfect example. Think about the information you attach to the plant symbol. Reports can be created to pull any of this information into a table that can be either placed on the plan or exported to a spreadsheet application or other project documentation. As well as providing excellent reporting, they are also a very efficient way of updating information on the plan. In this section, you'll learn how to generate a simple plant schedule and use it to update the information attached to the plants. Choose a schedule. Make Notes, Reports, the Active class. Choose Tools, Reports, Choose Schedule. On the Choose Schedule dialog, choose Plant List, Simple. Check Place Worksheet on Drawing and then click OK. The cursor changes to a small target. Click on the drawing area where you'd like to place the schedule. This schedule lists all the plants used in the drawing, including those within the landscape areas. Double click the worksheet to open it in a separate window. In the scheduled size column, click in the Acer Platinoides Crimson King row. Replace the existing text with Heavy Standard and press Enter. Close the worksheet window. Make Green Roof Planting the active layer. Select the Acer Platinoides Crimson King symbol on the plan. On the Object Info palette, click Plant Settings. Click Schedule. Notice Custom Scheduled Size has been checked. The heavy standard text is overriding the original schedule information from the definition. The worksheet displays the plant record, but it can also update it. Click Cancel. Make Planting the active layer. Click the Selection tool, select the plant schedule, and delete it. We'll place it on our presentation plans in the following section. Save the file. Review my file to Planting Complete if you wish to compare your results with mine. So that's another section completed. You've covered a lot in this section too and have seen how symbols can be used to represent elements of your design, not just visually. Elements of your design can store information and you can retrieve this information to support your design and build process. As a reminder, here's what you've learned how to do in this section. Use classes and plant settings to change the display properties of the planting plan. Use the different modes of the plant tool to place plants into a design scheme. Create a new plant definition. Create a landscape area for calculating plant mixes and create a worksheet to list and count the plants used in the scheme. In the final section, you'll learn how to pull all the different elements together to create presentation plans, technical details and perspectives. You'll also learn the different options for printing.